actually a hibiscus infusion that my wife made for an alter alternative medicine series on herbal potions, tinctures, elixirs, and the like. Which brings up a question for anesthesia. Should you really stop all of your herbal medicines, your alternative therapies before surgery? Because usually the rule is that you should stop it a few weeks beforehand, but it's similar to the don't turn on your cell phone in the hospital because you really don't feel like checking everyone's cell phone with all of our electronic equipment. You know, it's all fine and dandy until somebody's Blackberry interferes with a pacemaker. So in most cases, just stop your stuff and it's no big deal. But what if you really need a certain alternative therapy that you're on? Or what if you're on bioidentical hormones and it took you a long time to get to that level where everything is finally balanced? Well then you need to talk to your anesthesia provider directly. Explain the importance, look at the side effects, and you can make a more informed decision. After all, even if you look at ephedra and other herbs that have been shown to be dangerous, the research usually shows that people who have had problems are the type of people that also take a Tylenol and end up suing Merck for millions and millions of dollars because they're just so sick anything can push them over the edge. Most herbs are actually a lot more harmless than you'd expect. Think of the billions of dollars in the unregulated alternative medicine system compared to how many lawsuits there are for heavily research funded, heavily clinically trialed drugs that everyone uses every day and almost everyone doesn't have a problem with. So the bottom line is do your homework. Explain why you don't want to stop taking your uh, Valerian root or your St. John's wort until the day before surgery. Because really, you know, no one wants you depressed right before and after surgery. Psychotherapeutic medicines are another of those issues where sometimes it's better to let people just take their drugs, let us know what you're on so we can adjust the anesthetics accordingly rather than having you be off balance with your SSRI, your tricyclic depressant, or even uh, whatever your concoction of choice is.